Hi, my name is Vince and I'm 71 Custom Motorcycles. Today I'm going to talk about my 1971 Honda CB350, it's a K3. So there's nothing that's radically different really about this CB350, um, that was never my intention. Um, I just had an idea and, uh, for the bike I wanted and that's what I set about doing. But there are some uh, small details on here that I've not seen on, on other bikes. So maybe if I just run through those. So um, until this week, we didn't have a front mud guard on here, but uh, I was just making a, another video, just as I do of my bikes, and uh, I was playing it back, and I thought, actually, it it, uh, it does need something there just to, to, to balance the look up a bit. So I set about uh, to fabricate this. And um, right, the method I use is um, using the old mud guard as a template and I take a photograph of that area, um, sort of the bracket area, on the existing mud guard, and import that into my 3D software. Because um, you know one of the things that's inspired me to do is to learn a bit of CAD design. So I've I've done that. So uh, I use that as a template anyway, and then I can um, basically just create a model. And I've got a little desktop um, 3D printer. So I print that out, and then um, I form it using a, a heat gun over the, again, using the existing mud guard as a sort of mold. Um, and then, uh, yeah, then I skin in carbon fiber. So, I mean, skinning in carbon fiber is a process that's, that's known, but I've not seen anybody do it um, really in the application um, that I've done. So anyway, so it's pretty successful. So it's, quite laborious process uh, but gives a great result now this the mud guard itself is um, made from a mold of my Triumph Street Scrambler I've made several of these so um, I had one of these in stock already I had to slightly modify it just uh, with a Dremel but uh, anyway I'm really pleased with the look I think it just uh, balances up the whole bike um, of course you know it does absolutely nothing um, in terms of stopping dirt and water and everything else but then this bike's never going to go out in the wet so uh so it's yeah it's just an aesthetic really um but yeah it's really solid I'm, I'm very pleased with the way that went so sticking with the front end um i got uh a new headlight bucket uh i've stuck an led bulb in there as well and uh all the bracketry to hold the headlight uh part of that is from my triumph thruxton um, that come from my spares bin so I, I modified that because another thing I've accumulated in tool wise is a little MIG welder the sort of gasless MIG it's perfectly adequate for, for, for my use and incredibly cheap and obviously doesn't require gas so uh, yeah it's uh, it's been incredibly useful um, so I've also put little LED indicators on here and the little shroud surround is a sort of 3d design and printed so that they're they're really neat and super bright so the fork stanchions on this um were a little bit pitted um so it's a trick i learned on the cl i 3d printed these sleeves to go over the top so as two two uh, effects on that really it's uh, beefs up the front end and obviously it hides the uh the pitting of the chrome behind that so um, yeah I'm, I'm pleased with the way that's gone so the handlebars I think these have got a two inch rise on them they're fat bars because I just like that look and also um, as a, people who know about Hondas they know that the cabling um, or for a lot of the switch gear well in fact for all the switch gear is rooted through the handlebars so I thought um, having the biggest diameter I could get was going to be far easier so um, underneath there I've, I've drilled and dremeled out the hole and obviously there are the holes that are hidden under here to, to root the cable so the through. clocks are all original as far as I know I just uh, had to repaint them dress them back a bit and repaint them um, the bike had been re-sprayed by the previous owner so uh, and they done a fabulous job of that um, I just had to buy a new fuel filler cap so the header pipes are standard off the bike except I did a little pie cut 
a couple of pie cuts in this area just to pull out the pipes and kick them up a little bit because I just wanted a little bit of an upsweep um, and I bought these chrome mufflers and um, as luck and sometimes luck doesn't go with you with these bikes but uh, it just so happened that I could use the rear footrest uh, mount to to hang these uh, to hang the mufflers off so that was a pretty neat I didn't need to do any fabrication on that that was uh, that went pretty well um, so I did have a bit more of an upsweep on this but then it turned out I couldn't uh, use the Kickstarter because there was a clash. So yeah, it wasn't until I got the bike back together and tried to kick it over that uh, I saw this basically here just crashed. So I basically had to um, recut it and um, just re reduce the upsweep a little bit. But anyway, I'm really, really happy with the result of that. I think uh, it's a nice, neat look. And I wanted the muffler end to, to be as short as possible. Um, so certainly not to go beyond the rear shock. So I think uh, I, I achieved 95% uh, of what I was uh, looking so for. So moving to that. the back end, um, yeah, I'm particularly pleased with the way this has gone. Um, again, I, I um, on the CL, I didn't have uh, sort of rear mud guard in this area. So I decided that, um, yeah, I would make one from carbon fiber. Uh, I think I used uh, I think I used the front mud guard actually as a template for that and um, anyway I've developed a method for, for doing that that seems to work quite well without having to make a mold and um, yeah I've used the uh, inner chain guard front mount there to uh, to mount it at the bottom and then there's another mounting point under here that fixes um, where the rectifier is mounted so yeah it's pretty good i mean it's so lightweight carbon fiber that um yeah it really doesn't need much to hold it so i guess the last thing to talk about on the back end here is the uh side mounted license plate again that's uh not exactly mind-blowing loads of people have done that but um yeah i just fabricated from um two mil sheet mold steel um get my little mig welder a workout uh anyway I'm pleased with the way that's gone Okay, let's kick her over uh, so you can see what she sounds like. <laughs> 